Channel reports the nostalgia, except for those who may be breaking the law. Q102, 1023. I'm Janine Coyle. Well, gas prices are so low, maybe you can take a Sunday drive again. Top-down cruising may become a regular part of our vocabulary again. One Cincinnati radio station is doing its part by throwing a gas war. This morning, they asked dealers how low they would go for 12 hours in exchange for a remote broadcast. So we came up with a little incentive and kicked in $1,000. And man, service station people just started coming out of the woodworks. And uh, we've gotten some very good, attractive prices, and we got a little bit to go. We'll probably try to do it again tomorrow morning. I'm thinking that we might get it below 30 cents a gallon. It is truly happy motoring from west side to east. A spot check of two major thoroughfares on opposite sides of Hamilton County shows the least average price for a self-service gallon of leaded gas is in the low 60s. Unleaded regular is in the low to mid 70s. Full service at some stations is double those prices. But some stations are getting fuller service than others from the refiners. That charge from the president of Cincinnati's Dealers Association. Mike Cunnan says independent dealers don't get the same price breaks company-owned dealers do. He calls it predatory pricing. Predatory pricing is where they're able to uh, manipulate the price to their own advantage and the dealer pays more in some instances and less in other instances. And uh, they have a discount program that some of them employ that where they attain uh, certain volumes of, of gasoline, uh, they work strictly on, on rebates from various companies. Cunnan believes some antitrust laws may have been violated. He is mailing a letter today asking Attorney General Anthony Celebrezzi to investigate. Meanwhile, oil prices appear to have but one direction. So the question remains just what is going on? Is it good old-fashioned competition or restraint of trade? That answer may have to come from the Attorney General's office. Dan Royal, Eyewitness 12 News, Mount Washington. You might have noticed an audio problem there. One sentence that's rather important we should include. Mike Cunnan says that independent dealers don't get the same price breaks that company-owned dealers do, and he calls it predatory pricing. Who cranked up their pumps today? Eyewitness 12's Dan Royal reports. Yes, please. 1928 cents, you ought to get your windshield clean. Yeah, I would think so. Check your oil and change your tires and everything else. That's right, 19.8 cents for a gallon of unleaded gasoline. Takers of the offer were not hard to find. This gas war, reminiscent of 20 and 30 years ago, came about after radio station Q102 offered to broadcast live from the gas station that would pump petrol the cheapest for 12 hours. They also kicked in $1,000. My offered under 20 cents a gallon. He won to lose over $1,000 today. If you look at this, what's going to happen today, and we're going to lose money. A long-term benefit is we've got a lot on inside, a lot to offer, a lot we've got going inside. People come back, remember what we've done, and be something for this area to talk about for a long time to come. The line began forming before midnight last night. Not everyone sat in their cars. Some guy did an entire brake job here while waiting in line for the pumps to open. Six o'clock rolled around. You should have heard the roar of horns all the way back down Galbraith because everybody knew the thing was starting. They started off with a full tank of 8,000 gallons. By late this afternoon, it was getting low. We've had one very minor auto accident and one uh, person ran out of gas. <laughs> um, generally, it's been a pretty good day. Aren't you glad you do this assignment? Yes. <laughs> There was even coffee for the customers with free delivery. You see, you got to realize that when you get to the point of about two, two hours, and you say, wow, well, I'm an idiot, but if I get out of line now, I'm really a fool. <laughs> yes, it's worth it. Really? Yes, it is. Would you do it again? No. <laughs> well, it may not be exactly like the 60s. It's the closest thing to a gas war we're going to have. And while it won't last forever, as long as it's here, war is swell. Dan Royal, Eyewitness 12 News in Hartwell. Thank you for that pun, Dan. We'll be right back. <laughs>